Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today we are making pumpkin cake bars. This is um, a great Thanksgiving treat, but it's just good to have anytime. Start out with two eggs. And we're going to use those. And then one cup of cooked pumpkin. Now you can use canned pumpkin. I, I will tell you a really easy way to cook a pumpkin. I just um, take a whole pumpkin, put it on a cookie sheet, wash it first, put it on a cookie sheet, put it in your oven and bake it at 350 degrees for an hour and that will make it really nice and soft. Then you can just peel the skins off um, use a spoon to get the seeds out and I throw it in a blender add a little bit of water and blend it that's how I do my cooked pumpkin it's it's really easy a lot more a lot easier than trying to cut it up and and cook it that other way so that's how I do it so a cup of pumpkin three-fourths cup of sugar a half teaspoon of um, ginger, half teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of cloves, an eighth teaspoon of salt, any salt will do, and I just use a wire whisk, mix those all together. Pour it in a, this is a nine by nine pan. Then you just take a regular yellow cake mix and we're gonna use a half of the box. So I've already used half of it. Usually, um, I do this in a 9 by 13 and I double the ingredients. It would be a whole cake mix. So, I'm doing a half today, but. So you just sprinkle it right over the top. Just dry. Then one fourth cup of butter that you've melted, just drizzle that across the top. And then a half a cup of chopped nuts. I'm using walnuts today. Place it in your oven at um, 325 degrees and bake it for one hour and 20 minutes. Now you're going to want to take some aluminum foil, just put it loosely over the top for the first half of the cooking time. It keeps it from getting too brown on the top. So we're going to do that. And then after, um, after it's cooked half the time, then remove the foil and let it finish cooking without the foil. So, one hour and 20 minutes. All right, our timer's going off. We'll check it and make sure, in order to check and make sure it's done, take a knife and we're going to just um, poke it in the middle. Oh, it is not 
quite done. It looks like we need a few more minutes. So if it comes out, you see stuff come out, it should come out pretty clean. So I have to cook it a few more minutes here. All right, so go ahead and take this out. You can see it's really yummy looking. Smells really good. We're gonna let it cool for a little while and then serve it with um, with uh, whipped topping. <laughs>